So this video is going to show you how to change the battery management system on your Tesla battery. The battery management system is important as we explained in the first video because it equalizes the voltages across the six groups of cells. This one's Tesla's proprietary management system which would equalize the voltages across all 16 sets of these batteries as well. And also this will check the temperature and we don't need that for our use because we're not going to be using high currents. So we're going to change this to a much simpler battery management system that I got for about £14 off eBay. And that will do everything that we need. Particularly, it will make sure that the voltages are the same across these groups of cells so that no group of cells is overcharged. And that's important because overcharging a group of cells can cause it to get damaged or even catch fire. So I've seen on YouTube how to take these out and they make it look quite difficult some of those videos actually it's really very simple all you need to do is pull out these little pins here and you can do that just using your fingernails so now you've removed these pins you just pull the rest of the plug out And now you have this battery management system off. Actually, the most difficult thing about this is unplugging these leads at the back. And it's actually quite easy when you know how. What you have to do is push down on this central bit here. So push down on the central bit, and then just ease out these bits. And that one's undone there. Then this one is where the information about temperature goes in. And as I said before, we don't need that. And now you've got your battery management system off. Now we need to replace it with this one. Now this one came with these wires which fit into it here. So we need to cut off the wires here, wire them in here. It's important to get the right wires wired up. So this goes from B- minus or B0 to B6. And so you know that this one here is B0, so we'll cut that one off first and wire that into the B0 of this. So you'll see I put a little bit of heat shrink on this, that's going to cover the join once I've soldered it. First I solder it. And just put the heat shrink over. And shrink the heat shrink into place. Now you have a nicely joined wire. I just do that with all the others going through B1 through to B6. So they're all wired in now, and I now just want to check the voltages to check that's all been successful. So being very careful not to touch consecutive wires, I'll just check the voltages here. First one, 3.558. This one should be double. Yep, 7.1. And the last one should be just over 20. There we go. So they're all perfectly wired in. And now we can actually hook it up to our new battery management system if we want. So there, since everything is all very well balanced, there's nothing going on there at the moment. But if they do ever get out of balance with this hooked up, this will balance them automatically. And I can actually attach it, as I said before, very easily, just using the same holes as the previous one. So I just take the little clips, push them into the old holes. And there you have it, your new battery management system, all wired in.